<laughs> Not too long ago, I believe the guy's channel was Self Reliance. Something along the lines, I'll flash it up, but he had a video where he built a Japanese spider hole. It was kind of one of those late night rabbit holes where I was just chasing this weird idea in my head. Like a you spider I mean? hole. Yeah. yeah. Like a Japanese you went down spider the hole. spider hole. Yeah. Ends up that there's a lot of homeless people that are living in stealth shelters in the middle of cities. Oh, wow. So I was thinking, you guys know, our careers are definitely gonna come to a crashing end. Yep. We're probably gonna be homeless. Probably. So we need to train ourselves and see if we have the means to be squatters, so okay. to say. Yeah, all right. To be what? Squatters, it's like people that live on other people's property. But they don't illegally. know they're there. Yeah, uh, I just learned that today. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. You'll, it's sure you'll be enough. doing that at my property soon, now that he's told you what it is. The challenge is pretty simple. We have $100 each. We're each gonna be building different types of stealth shelters. And we're gonna put okay. these things to the ultimate test at the end of this video. I'll let you know what that test looks like later. But now, we're going in Walmart. We have 20 minutes, $100. Get all the supplies we can get before this tropical rainstorm hits <laughs> yeah. while we build these stealth shelters. We're gonna get inside and see what happens. So stealth means we have to be able to hide in it? Is that the definition yes. of stealth shelter? Self, self stealth shelter? Shelter? Yes, secret shelters. Okay, so it's not so necessarily no. like to survive, it's just to hide. Like built, like playing a $100 hide and seek? It no, is for to surviving too, it's a shelter. You have to be able to live in it too if you Shelter, to. and nobody can see you. Okay, no form of law everything. enforcement. I've been hiding from the cops for two years. Ever since I didn't pay my taxes. IRS, you better check out your boy Norm. Got up on tape, hadn't paid taxes in two years. For the sake of this being somewhat of a bushcraft challenge, primitive hand tools, nothing electric, nothing gas powered, $100. 20 minutes starts now. Norm's buggy. <laughs> Norm's never worried. Norm is never worried. I wish I was like that guy. Well, guys, all we need is tools. Um, I should have find the tools. Norm, where are the tools? Let me know if you see a saw. I don't think we're supposed to help each other, are we? <laughs> dude, I can't find any tools. There's just paper towels. <laughs> I know, dude. Walmart's tool section is weak. Maybe the camping supplies is where the stuff is. I'm having the hardest time finding a gosh darn axe. Oh, it's the garden section's probably where it is. That's probably where the guys are right now. Dang it. It is raining so hard outside right now, guys. I don't know if you can hear that. It is coming down. Dude, that rain is coming down. There's definitely a manager running around right now on his radio. <laughs> I just heard him say there was a bunch of YouTubers in here. So what I did not tell the guys was we're gonna hire neighbor Daryl, who is a retired game warden, spent... Hey guys, how are y'all doing? They can't videotape in the store, okay? Okay. It's just not allowed. Now, I mean, if you guys wanna reach out to home, can you turn that off, please, just so yeah. I'm comfortable? <sighs> did we just appear here out of nowhere? Is, <laughs> yeah, that, what, is that what that cut was? We just oh. appeared? in the woods. Whoa. Lojo's neighbor, Daryl, is a retired game warden. He served 30, 40 years. Dude, 30 plus. At least. As a game warden. In a, Florida. And a mm. legit game warden. Yeah. Worked undercover. He was sneaking around, killing deer. Selling it to selling illegal it. meat markets and Illegal stuff. meat markets. <laughs> he was in the nitty gritty. Yeah. And he hunted people down. So he knew how to look for people that were hiding in the woods. That's true. And people that didn't want to be caught. So we have three hours to build these stealth shelters to the best of our abilities. And when we're done, Daryl's going to come out here. And he's going to look at the lay of the land and see if he can see where we oh, are. Oh, we have to hide from Daryl? Yep. Oh my lord. And whoever passes the Daryl test wins the challenge. Bro, Daryl's gonna find all three of us. <laughs> he's so probably good at will. this. He's so I good. He's gonna, I don't think he's gonna find me. No? No, I'm well, pretty confident. He, I don't think he's gonna find me either. I don't think he's gonna find me either. Ooh, three hours starts now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna build yours right on top of mine? I'm gonna build mine like 10 yards behind yours, so he <laughs> oh, finds you. Smart. That's smart. Oh man. Oh wow. Ah! Dude, watch those knots, man. There's these little cypress Ooh. knots that are everywhere, and if you take off running in these woods, you will trip, I promise you. I watched this video of a professional, I guess he was a boy scout of some type. Was it one of my videos? <laughs> he was saying that if you position yourself right, with the road, you can use the backdrop of the land to camouflage you even better. Ah, uh, what's the obstruction? Guys, check out this freaking root system right here. 
good guy. I'm not even sure if I've seen this before on the property. This is probably the most massive uprooted root system I have ever seen. But I'm not gonna lie to you, as far as finding a stealth shelter, I don't think we're gonna find a place better than this. <sighs> that hill was killer, man. Yeah. I'm already worn out. Yeah, I guess we could take a break. <laughs> oh God, let's get in here. We gotta get kind of going here. We also don't want Norman Ao to see what we're doing. We don't want them to be able to hide as well as we are over here. Guys, look at this. This is insane right here. Look, we could get, ah, that's a thorn bush. Oh, guys, look at that. Look at this area, like right here in the heart of the root ball. I mean, I feel like this is gonna be such an, I don't wanna say easy area to camouflage, but there's so much opportunities to, to use the natural stuff that's already here and just form a structure right over the top of the center here. All right, well, I think I'm gonna take my old hatchet here. I think it's gonna be more compact, obviously, which is gonna help us in this confined space. Love how I picked the area with the most thorns per kappa. Oh boy, yep, there it is, easy. Just wanna clear some of this stuff out. Oh wow, that, that just falls right out. Oh dear Lord. Okay, how am I gonna get in here? This is all thorns. Freak. <laughs> I just hear Lojo yelling through the woods. Oh, there we go. Use the feet, use the feet. I just wanna get rid of some of this stuff. Oh. I see him working on a monstrous root system. Shovel, good idea. Ow, ax to the shin. Norm's with them too. Hey, uh, Ayo. What do you need? I've got these little trimmer things in there. I know I didn't buy them, but. There's a machete. That would be nice. All right, I'm not gonna hit you. I'm gonna throw a little bit to the left. Okay. Get on video just in case for court. Dear God, Norm. Was that close? I felt like that was way too close. It was Well, it wasn't that close, but the way you threw it, it was like flying through the air like this. <laughs> yeah, like a throwing was, knife. Yeah, man. I just, I got Call of Duty in my bones, man. It's muscle memory. <laughs> Dear God. This is like a mini machete, too. There's no weight on it at all. I actually have a great plan for mine. I just got to find the right landscape. You got a cool spot, man, but I, I need to find a cooler spot, so... I'm out of here. Unfortunately, the soil that I chose has monstrous pine trees and a bunch of baby oaks all around. So there's roots all in the area that I wanted to dig. We're gonna see if we can't find some better soil. We're gonna cover some ground. As cool as the spot is, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, if like, I saw that, if I was riding and I saw just a monstrous root system, I would think. I'd go check it out. There's an outlaw for sure. <laughs> that dude's selling deer at night. Don't you worry, man. <laughs> I'm terrified. I know how to back it up. Yeah, you do. What are you looking for right now? I'm looking for two trees, man, right next to each other. Okay. Dig a hole that I can lay down in. So like a seven foot trench. Like a coffin? Exactly. Dude, there's gonna be so many ticks on me today, it's gonna be crazy. Boom, there you go. Could certainly lay down right here. I mean, 100% head right there. Now, of course, we would build up some type of a bedding, you know what I mean? But the space itself is there. Oh, this is home for the next three hours, baby. <laughs> this might be the last time we ever see each other. You ever think of that? It could be. I don't think anybody's ever gonna find me. <laughs> All right, now that we got our little area cleared here, I wanna start working on kind of the roof and what's gonna give us some cover, some actual, to what's gonna make this a structure. Definitely wanna cut some of these overhanging trees and just like lay them over the top of my new shelter. That makes sense. A lot of the stuff I'm just gonna throw in there and then use it later to kind of help camouflage everything. Oh, these are gonna be perfect. Perfect. Cut a couple of these guys down. Oh, a couple of those. Oh yeah, that's some nice camouflage right there. Doesn't look like much on its own, but you get about 20 or 30 of these together, you got some camouflage. All right, I'm recording. Oh, banana spider already. <laughs> There's three in the way. Well, guys, AO is off. And I about walked into a banana spider. And there's two of them. These are like the smallest banana spiders. Oh, there's three. Guys, Lo just spent a million dollars on this property. If I were him, I would have got a property without this many spiders. I need an area that doesn't have a lot of big trees because I'm trying to avoid roots the size of Norm's calves. All right, so this is where I'm gonna build my shelter. This tree right here, this tree branch actually laid out pretty much perfectly. So as you guys can see, this used to be some type of big branches split up into two, 
but what I'm envisioning is I could lay in between these two tree branches right here, dig a hole like super, super deep that I could lay under and then cover the top with like tree branches and then cover the tree branches with leaves and kind of hide myself under this tree and kind of make it look like an embankment. And Ao's camp is actually gonna be right over there. Unless he's leaving, he's leaving. Hmm. The one thing I picked up from the video is we don't want very sandy soil. I'm gonna be building somewhat of an underground tunnel and sandy soil tends to collapse in on itself a lot sooner. Also the guy in the video I watched Also, the guy in the video I watched said, don't build in clay when it's wet. And we had a monsoon yesterday, so. If I was Daryl, I'd be looking for like disturbed areas of the forest. So what I'm gonna try to do is take all of the leaves that I put on top, take all the sticks that I put on top. I'm gonna try to chop them down like maybe hundreds of yards down the forest that way. That way he can't look and say, oh, that tree's missing all of its limbs. There's probably somebody hiding there. Oh, this stick might actually be good. Get a few of these sticks. These can act like a little bit of a brace, something to hold all the camo that I've cut now. Let's cut that one in half. This spot's about to disappear, that's for sure. By the time I'm in there with this roof built, you're not gonna be able to see me. Although this tree right here is gonna be missing all of its branches. So that might be a dead giveaway. <laughs> we'll just saw those off, make them look more natural. <laughs> that just makes it look worse. Daryl's gonna find me in like two seconds. Now this is the darkest soil that I've seen. It's not clay, but it's also not sand. That is not what we want. Oh. Who knew South Alabama was this sandy? It's crazy. All right, so first step, I'm gonna dig it, but I just gotta be careful not to dump stuff over because that's not gonna look natural. So I'm gonna try to dig it and then put it in the trees and cover up all the dirt I dig up too. <sighs> There's so many roots. Oh, oh yes. It was just the right freaking size. All right, let me see about this roof here. I was kind of thinking like just stringing some things along right here. I want to save the pine straw for like the later ones. because that's going to really help mask a lot of these leaves and stuff. See, my entrance, I think, is going to be like right here. You know what I mean? Just like completely cover this part up. That way we've actually got the shelter part because, I mean, if you sat here for like days, you could make this thing completely waterproof if you just did this enough times. But for three hours, we just want to get a cover for this structure. Sorry. Just trying to have a fun time, girl. Thought we had something special, Trish. Okay, it's been about two hours and I haven't found any solid soil on this entire property. It's all just very soft, sandy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not the best soil to dig a tunnel system in. My goal is to dig a hole big enough to fit a slightly obese man in and then camouflage a latch in. First off, it makes a really cool thumbnail. And second off, I don't think Daryl will have any idea where I am. <sighs> I've been talking for an hour and I haven't done any work. So starting to feel like I'm a politician up in here. You know what I'm saying, dude? Ugh. First scoop. I'm gonna put it all the way out here in the, the grass. Whew. There's so many spiders. Oh, another spider. Oh, that's a black widow. That is so cool. Oh, I hate it already, but it does work. It's not very fun coming from a chainsaw to one of these. All right. We add a couple pine trees to the mix. You tell me that doesn't look natural right there. Looks like a storm just came in and blew everything over. What the freak? Are you kidding me? It like came back to the living. See, now can kind of clear out a little spot right here. This is going to be our entrance. It's going to be where we actually go in and out. Dude, 
nothing like really soft rooty soil to build a tunnel system i really think once you get through this first foot of soil a lot of these baby roots will be out of the way you just never know if there's a massive boulder two foot below you that would bite so bad <laughs> One thing we also have to think about is this is going to be a six foot hole so we're also going to have a six foot pile of dirt sorry guys had to take a nice nature leak but you know what they say you never want to poo where you pee now this is going to take a really long time It'll probably wear me out like having to bring my dirt super far away from camp but i think it's just going to help keep me hidden even more and that's just one of those things like you make one mistake in this and you're going to get found so <sighs> We're making progress. Oh! Freaking spiders. Seven foot three, so every time I walk, I just walk right into a spider's face hole. Let's see, is he just crawling like so? Oh my God, it's so hidden in here. <laughs> oh, now, of course, I just have to be laying down. Like, I'm not gonna have like a living room or something in here. Can you guys see me? <laughs> no, you can't. Oh! Did you see how I had to bust it wide open to get in there? I hope you got a shot, a close-up shot of my back end because I was exposed. Oh my God. Oh, dude. That's hard. That's red clay. That's some harder, harder soil. Man, I sound so nerdy filming this. Dude, we made it through the topsoil. Now we're hitting hard clay. Call my mom. <laughs> Daryl's totally not going to notice a six foot pile of sand. Dude, I'm so glad we found some clay. That's huge. All right, well, I feel like I'm finally getting to the depth I need. Just going to have to make about a hundred more trips, maybe. Dude, this kind of looks like it was just a huge like storm that came through. I mean, I know it looks like things were placed there, but at the same time, I mean, storms happen down here and they happen all the time. Big storms and they do stuff like this, obviously, because the whole tree system got blown over. So I think this is going to look pretty realistic. Oh, it's still super sandy down there. I thought we were in clay. <sighs> kind of think about it. We have an underground attempt. Norm's right at the ground. Lojo is above ground. Kind of getting all three types of hidey holes. I'm going to have the back of an NFL linebacker by the end of this. Oh, I really just need to shed the muffin top. Oh, I can tell my wife looks at it. She doesn't say anything, but she'll kind of get one of those stares where it's just kind of uncomfortable. Whenever I have my shirt off and my sides are just rolling over my belt buckle, I just see that kind of... But at least I can dig a Japanese spider hole. I think I pretty much got as much content as I can digging a hole. I'm just gonna spend the next probably, I don't know, 45 minutes digging this hole out before the next step of this build continues. So I'm gonna put on some Drake. Um, I'm just gonna get in my zone. I'm gonna get this work. Uh, this is a different mode. We did build it a little narrow, didn't we, Trish? My knees can't even fit in here at the moment. We gotta widen her up. At least we figured out before we were six foot deep. Give me some paw, girl, come on. <clears throat> All right. Let's keep digging. Don't lick me right now, Trish. Come on, Drake. Talk to me, baby. Baby, I like your style. Watch it. This tiny little pine tree. I'll take you. I don't discriminate, little pine tree. That's what we were missing right there, that last little piece. Originally, I was going to lay sticks over the top of this thing and cover it in pine straw. But what I think I'm going to do is actually dig like a little crease right here and shove sticks in there. And then I'm going to cover it with leaves, but it can't be like I can't take these leaves, cover it and leave a wide open spot. So I'm going to have to grab leaves from different areas. In the video I watched, the dude made a super legit spider hole. I don't know how legit ours is going to be because of the soil. I don't know if you guys heard me mention the soil out here. I'm going to get down in there and hopefully I can move this dirt a little faster. <sighs> oh. Further drop than I anticipated. Went ahead and took a uh, four hour midday break while the boys were just crushing themselves. But I'm really glad I waited until it got to be the absolute hottest part of the day to continue. 
Oh, sh where's all my tools, dog? Man, you can't be raiding somebody's campsite. Leave them with a hatchet and paracord. I really don't like the sand. We're probably four foot deep right now. It's a mixture of clay and sand. We're getting down to the good stuff, but I have a little bit of clearance. We're gonna dig into the sides at the top and make a small latch so that we can open this thing up and close it. <laughs> my wife is gonna love washing these clothes. <laughs> Wow, it's in my underwear. That happens every time. I don't even know how. That's one of those questions you gotta wait till you meet your maker to ask. <sighs> All right. Well, layer two is going good. So I laid the sticks kind of diagonally this way and then now with all the other twigs, I'm going this way. But we're gonna get these done and I'm gonna go scoop leaves from somewhere far away do that and then I'm gonna cover all my tracks because I've kind of worn down a little bit of the dirt here I'm just trying to rip these like little tiny pieces off because I don't want it to stick too much over the edge of the logs because bright green leaves I feel like would be pretty obvious so this is my little trail guys right here kind of do one of these stir up all the leaves cover some accidental dirt spillage cover my footprints and bring some of the leaves back up where I walked on full path. God, they took my shovel too? What the freak am I supposed to do over here? You're gonna get a whole lot of subscribers from this video. Dude, I hope I get a whole bunch. I'm digging this, dude. It's a good video. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Yeah. I'm really trying to excavate the space. My leg! I'm gonna cut all these one size. About that right there. That's gonna be about the height of the door. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of scooping dirt like that. And obviously I'm gonna cover everything back up. But I'm putting it on top of my fort. So it literally looks exactly like the ground already. I'm gonna cover every single hole and every single little green leaf in here. So it's gonna be straight dirt all the way across. Alrighty. We uh, dug a little bit of room for my feet. The walls are decent. We have about an eight inch clearance above my head to the ground. I would just need to camouflage this thing, put a proper hatch on here and deal with the dirt. Not too bad. Just to drop a little survival knowledge on you. I mean, I don't know much about surviving, but I did spend two years in Afghanistan, so I have worked with a fair amount of paracord and paratroopers. Oh, ayo. I'm losing it out here by myself in the woods, I can tell you that. This is a freaking sick door, man. I mean, I get it. It's not the best door ever you could make out of trees, but I wish I could get it to stay wide. I don't have enough structural components to do that. Okay, now we're gonna gently roll her over. I don't wanna lose her shape. Oh, like that. She lost her shape. After three hours of bushcrafting, it's time to reveal what we've made. That was the fastest three hours of my life. Dude, it, it went so fast, it felt like six hours. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> we are at Lojo's root system. Check it out, Norm. There's a whole tunnel in there. You could definitely Ooh. live in there. There's a whole village. I kind of like that. Yeah. But dude, I'm telling you, like from right here, it's obvious because you've got like the hack marks and stuff, right. but you're coming in from the road, if you're riding, there's no way you're gonna see it. I really like what you've done with the door. Um, he really likes the door. Yeah. That's cool. Well, you know, it, uh, it started off a lot better than that. Looks and then like I... my grandpappy's firewood sack. His grandpappy never st st stacked firewood. Not that I heard of. <laughs> I, I actually, I'm gonna be pissed when you win this thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's kind of crawl on in. You gotta get in here. And then it gets a lot bigger. Oh, my butt got stuck. Ah! Oh. What'd you build? I'll show you, man. 
this way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you get in there? Yeah. Here it is. This, we're telling this isn't here. But basically, I'm going to get a dead tree branch. I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to put the dead tree branch over me. That's the only way I feel like I'm going to get caught, because this looks pretty natural. Dude, you're slowly yeah. stepping in from the bottom of the totem pole to, like, top tier. I think you and Lojo are now swapping and build experience. <laughs> well, to be fair, I did, like, kind of win the other two, even yeah. though I, they were kind of, like, the biggest jokes. Right? Houseboat building? I caught the most fish. You thought you won that? And then the wheelbarrow, I caught the most fish. Right. Well, what happened to the shelter on your houseboat, dude? Don't don't go there. This is great, man. <laughs> it looks yeah. like an actual coffin. Yeah. So, might die. That would be so bad. Not really. You good? We'll talk about it later. Okay. Dude, it's such a tight squeeze. <laughs> oh, stab myself. Oh. oh. I don't even know how I'm gonna vlog this, all right. I'm just put we'll see your brain. Is there, is there a splitter on my face? <laughs> that's so cool. I know Daryl's like the goat, but that's so cool, dude. Oh, oh. Wow. Dude, wow. This is the first time I've been in here. How's it look? Does it look crazy? Yeah, it looks <laughs> Oh gosh. No. I can totally breathe in here. Can you see me? No. <laughs> no. Dude, this is kind of cool. I haven't played hide and seek in like four years. I can't breathe very good though. No? I mean like I just feel the oxygen level going down like every breath. This is so stinking cool. I mean we are just, we are living like Larry right now. I definitely think I have the second best hut, but AO's is virtually like invisible. I don't even think if we gave Daryl 24 hours, he'd find AO. Fun fact, there are bugs all over the ground. Really wish I would have cleared out more. Now that we're all hidden in our stealth shelters, it's time to unleash the beast, neighbor Daryl. Well, just lands a pretty big place, so we're gonna place Daryl within a hundred yard radius of the forts, starting with Lojo. Now, I'm just looking, they could be in the trees or in the ground or they, anything. They could be really anywhere, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm just seeing. If I find something that don't look right. I see a fresh broke stick right there. It's gonna be right through there. There's no freaking way Daryl's gonna see me. I don't even see me. Oh my God, he's getting close. Right here, you done left me a foot trail tra right there. Oh, he's gonna track my freaking tracks. I think he found my tracks. I didn't even think about that. Oh, so he's been scuffing up the log, crawling across it. Then we stepped right there. See a fresh tree cut. I see a blind. I see a hidey hole. Let me throw a grenade in there. <laughs> <laughs> How did, you, did you track my tracks? Yeah, I tracked your tracks. Dang it, I didn't even think about that. That's how I'm gonna find all y'all. Dang it, that's so smart. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that's how I find all my we were game wardens. Yeah? Just straight for tracks, huh? Yeah, look for tracks or a, uh. or a fresh cut branch or something. I knew if you came around. This side, I would be screwed, but I mean, from the road though, it wasn't easy to see though, right? Well, I didn't see him from the road. Yes. I but feel like I that's seen, a win. I see where you're head, and I said, I see where you scuff that tree climbing over it and. Found me pretty dang quick. As soon as I heard him say, let me just find some tracks here, I was like, oh, tracks. Didn't even think about my foot tracks. And I just left walking in. Well, I figured that'd be the easiest way. Well, hey, let it be said, Daryl did not see me from the road, okay? He had to go in, track me. So, cause I think you're gonna find everybody, but at least you didn't see me from the road. Remember that, that's important for later here.
Guys, it's also like 103 degrees outside today. So I don't know how long AO is going to be able to survive in his little hut down there. It's only a matter of time before AO runs out of oxygen. That's why I kind of wanted, opted to leave mine open. I hear the ATV. I think AO's fort and uh, Loja's fort was definitely probably the most comfy. Mine is probably the least comfy. Should have thought this through more. This ain't figured out. <laughs> well, it's easy up. I'll find a trailer. I'll drink in. If he's down in there, he better have a damn snorkel for you breathe. I'm gonna give him a little hint here. Mm -hmm. The hell? There, I'm running out of oxygen. <laughs> oh. There you are. That's where you buried your dirt at. Oh. <laughs> I would <laughs> want to stay in there and hide from you, but I can't. Well, I see where you got the leaves there uh, to hide it, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You impressed? I'm impressed. Thank you. The only thing I didn't think about was oxygen. I know. That's what I told him there when we went to dig it. I said, if he's there, that's something. Just better have a snorkel. I told you he was buried underground. I heard you say that. I heard you say that. I was like, that is crazy that you knew that. <laughs> I seen the dirt pile over there. Your, your, and where you'd put leaves yeah. on it. And when I was coming back, that's when I seen this when you hollered at. See, I've, I've caught people that would take a hole like that, yep. put a, a 55 gallon drum down there, and put their marijuana in there and then cover it. Really? Up. Oh, yeah. Yep. You ain't the first thing I've pulled out of a hole. You already have my respect, but I respect you even more. <laughs> Good work. We got one long legged man to find. I know. I do want to see Daryl track from above ground, though. Well, I'm not doing a good job. I think I'm on armadillo right now. That could be a person stepped right there. See right here. That looks, see that when it's fresh like that? It looks like somebody stepped right there. But see, that's armadillo rooted right there. They just found this dirt right here. There's some more right there. I know, dirt right there. Dirt right there. I see somebody stepped all in here. Dirt right there. How can you tell where somebody stepped? What are you looking for? See that fresh break? Uh huh. Somebody stepped right there. Somebody stepped that, broke that. That was the guy. He's five foot away from me and doesn't break. see me. What's a fresh break? They're right there. That's a fresh break. What's a fresh break? It's real white. Shiny. See the old break? Yep. See the new break? Yep. It's like he's dirt. <laughs> dirt out here. Dirt out here. Oh my god, I see him. Dirt out here, dirt out here. Did he leave me a dirty trail? It leaves. This might have come out of Ayo's. This didn't come out of you? Mm -mm. Alright. See, that's topsoil there. With a hole in it right there. So, you reckon he made him a damn ghillie suit out of it? <laughs> out of 100. I won. It's been like 20 minutes since he found AO, and I'm still letting him. 
and it's got slunk you can see everything's kind of pushed this direction so he's over there and slung it over here maybe to get it out where i wouldn't see it over there but he's got to be he's been a 50 yard circle right here guys i can't believe i had from Daryl this long he's walked all the way around my fort he's been five foot away from me and didn't see me oh it looks like everything he took was right there and slung the shit over here everything got slung this way there's a fight A little right there. <laughs> I lost feeling in both of my arms. <laughs> Daryl, how do you think I did, man? Done good, real good. What screwed me up was you throw that dirt over there, so it led and it led me. But then I didn't. There wasn't. You didn't walk through the the bushes over there nowhere. Well, I I think you definitely won. Yeah, I told them when I was in there, when I heard them find like find you, yeah. I was in disbelief. Well, I was like, no way. I think he would have found me just because he found my trail, dude. Right. Yeah, yeah. I otherwise I'd never found you. Well, we, we used to look for anything. I don't care what it was. It was bait, any kind of illegal activity. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a trail we follow. Really? Yes. So if we broke the law, we would have been toast? Yes. Because all I had to do right here was park. <laughs> if I'd have figured somebody's buried underground, yeah. I'd have parked out here with my AC running. Yeah. How long would I have to wait for you to come out? 20 minutes. But like I said, <laughs> everything, when, when somebody's looking for something, you always look for the trail. That's right. what you, you know, Whose shelter would you give the best stealth shelter to? You know, in all honesty, now you talking about stealth slipping in and out? Yeah, any secretive type of shelter. In all honesty, Lojo would have won the competition because the way his was, he could slip in the back without nobody seeing If he wouldn't have left the trail there, he'd have been hard to see. As far as a stealth hide, for coming and going, yeah, I definitely would have picked his because just for some fact he could come and go without getting caught. Yeah, where you ain't. Now I'd have never, like I said, I'd have never found you. Hope you folks enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit, a little different than usual. If you want to see some other weird challenges, let me know down in the comments. If you'd like there. to see how long he holds his breath under one of them tunnels. Let's let's all get a, a pool up. I don't think you're gonna stay there an hour. No, I was I was I was done when I started saying, Daryl, I can't breathe. And then you said he's across the road. I was like, No, I'm right here. <laughs> well, I smell disgusting. I'm struggling from breathing in all that carbon dioxide. So we're gonna go find some H2O. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of weird. It's not a boat build. I don't really know what to do right now. Is this people. where you end the video? I think so. I think okay. we did a good job. I, Subscribe. See you guys on the next one. We are Walmart. Walmart up. So Walmart. Here we go. Retake. <laughs> we are wow. Walmart up. <laughs> what do we have going here, my friend? Well, I found the world's largest assortment of thorn bushes. Dude, that is one of the biggest. <laughs> wow. Here you go. Take it, dude. I don't need it. Oh. <laughs>